clue. It's so many walls all over Martinez, weather-worn, cracked, their paint peeling. been a week and now they show up? Trying to sneak up on me? Come to slit my throat in my sleep? Apparently, she doesn't like people standing behind her back. Logic error. She is not sleeping right now. Pigs come to take me out. Trying to snuff me out. Then why are you sneaking up on me like that? It's not a good idea to scare me, pig. Not a good idea at all. Trying to sneak up on me? You see a set of tyre tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Cop habit. You look at everything. This isn't case related, you think. Hard to say. Your vision is blurred and you're having difficulty concentrating thanks to your relentless hangover. The tire tracks were left here by an unknown event that took place some days ago. It's a message, written in the language of burnt rubber. Some of that rubber stuck to the tiles right in front of the whirling in rags. This is point A. The driver started there, and then accelerated straight into the fence, left a hole big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry, according to the cafeteria manager. The driver proceeded to back out of the yard, barely stopping before hitting the adjacent building. Before heading south, must have been in a hurry. You are correct. This is a rather motor carriage friendly city. I'm not sure. There are plenty of traffic accidents waiting to happen in Martinez with the jam right here on the roundabout. I would keep them separate. You could follow the track south. There seems to be a canal there. See where they went, if you find the time.
This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. Well, it is a container. Maybe you're prioritizing it. We could try using a pry bar. The one you took from my motor carriage, or... Or we could ask for a key from the manager of the whirling in rags. He probably has one. He might also have information. This is better than the pry bar idea. There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve peers have walked here. Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. Isn't this something an industrial worker would wear? Noted. Maybe more than twelve. No. Eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. One, standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 46. Two, standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 44. Three, hobnailed work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 43. Four, standard work boot, number 45 or 46. You don't know. It's a miracle you can tell the prints apart as it is. The cold must have preserved them. Five, another standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes, number 44. Six, an aberration, light as air, even pace. Same make of boot, but number 41. Impossible to tell. Could also have been an adolescent. The gate is undeveloped. You're not bad. It's as if the whole world darkens. Everything else has a thin film of unimportance on it, and the tracks burn in the middle of it in a strange, beautiful way. Seven, the glowing outline of a standard work boot, number 46, but the imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 200 kilograms. Eight, and yet another standard work boot, number 44. There's an aberration in the pattern of the sole, however. The right sole is smoother, more worn. How many? I was pretty off then. I counted 20. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? A woman or a kid? Understood. Anything else? 200? Could it be the combined weight of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up? Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon to be dead man. He might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. Possibly, yes. But why? Yes, they could have used the makeshift stretcher or just march him up to the gallows. Even easier to carry on a stretcher or between two men. Anyway, it's for future consideration. What else can you see? Interesting. Let's name it the old soul. Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor. Or maybe a drummer? No, it's not. Forget I said it. We are not looking for a drummer. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. 
We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam, see whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? Mm hmm A week, maybe? Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller, who reported the hanging. It is not impossible. I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashol. Seven days below freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging, was the last warm day. Correct again. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here could have taken place a week ago. What do I think? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shuffled around, especially under the tree. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Indeed, they all stood in a row here and looked at the tree. Yes, everything fits so well. Carried him over, hoisted him up, watched him hang. This is easy. The lieutenant's eyes narrow. He's thinking to himself. Either way, what else? Inconspicuous pile of the roofing material, Etonite. It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. Glad you asked. When junior researcher Olari Tal invented Etonite in the Vatna Polytechnic Institute some 30 odd years ago, he thought it would last forever. Hence the name, Etonite. Sadly, the only lasting thing turned out to be the material's highly carcinogenic effect. It's nothing. Someone just left some roofing material slanted against an old shack. Because it's nice and orderly. Well-laid pallets. Easy on the eyes. Rhythmic pattern. Calms your mind. Mammals like this stuff. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like 